Today, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a wallpaper in GIMP with your choice of background and character. We'll also go over special effects, text, and how to change the colors. But first, if you need the GIMP app, you can get it for free from the links under this video. You also might want to search online for some empty backgrounds without people on them, like these, to put behind your characters. And you also want to download renders for characters you want in your wallpaper, like these. There are thousands of renders and backgrounds online available to make the perfect wallpaper you want with the characters that you like. Now, when you're searching for backgrounds online, here's some suggestions to try, and I'll link you to some scenic backgrounds under the video. Find the backgrounds you want to use for your perfect wallpaper. But if you wanted to use a plain color background instead, I'll actually show you in this video how to make one with the color that you want. And lastly, to get the render for a character you want, just Google the anime or game character's name plus render and then download it. Now, once you have images you want for your wallpaper, start up GIMP and create a new canvas for your wallpaper with file and new on the upper left of the app. If you don't know what height and width to enter for your wallpaper, just try these settings as they fit many wallpapers. In the canvas you make, you'll see the default background, and you're going to create the wallpaper on here. Drag in images you want to use on the wallpaper here. You'll first want to drag in your background images or recolor your default background. If you wanted to make your default background a single color, click on the bucket fill tool. Select a color and then click on the empty background. And you can use the colorize option under colors at the top to also recolor the background. Uh, this works on your background layers and renders as well. You can use this trick on all of your layers to make a wallpaper follow one color, like here. In some cases, you also might want to resize your background with the scale tool as well after you drag it in. But once you have a background set, drag your character renders on top of it. Use the Move tool to move your images around. And resize them with the Scale tool. This is always what you want to do when combining backgrounds and renders together to make a wallpaper in GIMP. Use the eraser tool to remove watermarks from your renders. You can also download special effects online and drag them into your wallpaper and then use your tools to adjust them.
Here's some suggested types of effects that you can search for online to drag into GIMP. There's many good tools under filter to experiment with, but the blur tool will be especially useful for your backgrounds to allow more focus on the character in the foreground. If you want to apply text to your wallpaper in GIMP, I suggest using the Cool Text website to make pretty text and then drag it into your wallpaper like the other images you did before. When you're ready to finish, you can save your GIMP project to return to it later with Save As under File. This will also save your layers so you can keep working on your wallpapers at a later time. And when you're ready to make an actual wallpaper in GIMP, use the Export option under File and save your work as a PNG or JPEG file like I do here. It will make a wallpaper based on what's currently on the canvas. And here's a couple tips for GIMP wallpapers. When you're rescaling your images with the scale tool, leave the chain tool as it is here. This will keep equal proportions on your renders and backgrounds, which is very important for high quality wallpapers. Also use the Waifu 2X app to make your renders and backgrounds and wallpapers larger with great quality. This is useful for when your images are too small or turning up blurry, or when you need to make your wallpaper larger for a bigger screen like a 4K screen. You can also drag an image into Google Image to get the biggest version of that image. You usually want to use the biggest version of a render or background for the best quality. So good luck and please share your wallpapers with us because we do love to see them.